Hey there Muslim Boo fans, I'm Boo, and it's Easter! What a better way to celebrate Easter than bypassing a high security tamper evidence satchel that your brother stashed his Easter eggs in to keep them safe. Yeah, we have a high security tamper evidence satchel full of delicious Easter treats. These bags have a bunch of methods to spot if the bag has been tampered with. Attacking the high security ones like this level 4 bag can be really difficult. Sometimes the best way to attack a tamper evident device isn't to try and beat the controls, but to just swap the whole thing out for a new one. That way, you can open the bag, get access to what's inside, then seal it back up without anyone knowing. But how do you do this with a tamper evident such that's been designed to stop it from being swapped? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so you don't miss any of our videos. Okay, let's bypass this high security Easter egg bag. Before we start, I want to tell you a bit about security bags and satchels so you know what they are, what controls have been designed into them, and why it's difficult to bypass the high security ones. Security satchels like this one are basically a plastic bag used to transport sensitive information, money, or some other valuable item. While they won't stop someone just ripping the bag apart and stealing the content, they will detect if someone has opened the bag and accessed the booty inside. Think of someone that transport money, opening the bag and taking a few dollars out of every bag, or someone viewing or copying some secret information that's being transported. Security satchels have five different security levels, rated from zero to four. Zero being the least secure and four being the highest security bag. Level zero is just a standard plastic envelope that you get at the post office that has some hot melt glue to hold it closed. Level one has a stronger adhesive and graphic on it. Tampering with the seal will distort the graphic. You don't see these very often. Level 2 is your typical tamper of the bag. It has a strong adhesive with a hidden graphic, so when you try and open it, you get the word void or similar across the seal. Cold attacks like using Freon don't work on these. Level 3 is a level 2 bag, but the ink used for the hidden graphics on is sensitive to water and other solvents. You will usually see the ink bleed and get destroyed if you use any chemical, making it obvious it was tampered with. Level 4 is a high security. It takes a level 3 bag and adds an anti-heat strip. There is usually a see-through window across the seal and if you use heat on it, it turns black. Level 4s are pretty nasty to bypass with a direct attack, but we have another video coming soon, so watch out for it. So anyway, enough bag history. I'm sure you want to hear about the bypass. One of the easiest ways to bypass any tamper evidence seal is just to swap it for another seal that looks exactly the same. Of course, security seal designers put controls in place to stop these types of attacks. The usual way is with serial numbers, barcodes or both. In this video, we were looking at some level 4 bags that use barcodes and serial numbers. As you can see, on a new bag, there is a barcoded serial number on the front, and the same barcode and serial number are on a tearaway strip on the top of the bag. The sender can keep this strip to verify the number with the receiver so they know the bag has been swapped. You're probably thinking, this is some really difficult hack, but it's actually really simple and works on every bag we've tried so far. All you need to do is completely remove the barcode and serial number from a new, unused bag, then print a new one that looks exactly the same on the bag. You can then just swap out the original without anyone knowing. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Before we show you how, just remember this is a proof of concept and shows this type of attack works. It's not perfect, but that's only because we can spend thousands of dollars on the high quality printer needed to make it perfect. A real attacker like a spy or professional criminal could easily afford one and perfect the attack. Here we go. First up, we need to get rid of the original barcode and serial number. There are a ton of solvents out there that work and remove the ink. Some leave streaks and take more work to remove, and some are perfect. Here's a list of solvents that we have tested and no work. But our favourite was a new one we hadn't played with before, called Methyl Ethyl Ketone, or MEC. It's also known as Budanone. What is the easiest and cheapest way to get it? Go to the hardware and buy a PVC priming fluid, like this one. It's a couple of dollars for more than you will ever need. Use a cotton bud or paper towel and just wipe it over the barcode and serial number. Make sure you are very careful because we'll take off any ink on the satchel, not just the bit you want to remove.
Once you have cleaned it off, you are ready to put the new serial number and barcode on. For this attack, we had to go and buy a special inkjet printer. We couldn't really put the back for our laser printer, so we bought a handheld printer that you can just roll across the back. We did a bunch of research and the really good ones over $1,000 and there was no way we could spend that just to do one test attack. So we found a cheaper one called the Selfic S1. It has a half inch print head which is just right for printing the barcodes and text we needed. After we worked out which font they used on the back, we created the text and barcode, uploaded it to the app that came with the printer and got to work testing. It took us a while to get the sides exactly the same, but once we had it perfected on some paper, we moved to the backs. Here I am, printing the barcode and serial number onto a brand new bag. We have to make two passes, as the print head is only half an inch, so we can't print both parts at once. Even with this cheap printer, unless the person sending the package had taken a close-up photo of the barcode and sent it to the receiver, you wouldn't be able to tell someone had access to the contents. We have a few hundred bags and most have lines or issues with the printing, so we don't even need it to be perfect. Check this out, even the barcode works when you scan it with a reader. This is a really hard attack to stop. We've seen some extra controls used on SCEC government certified bags, and we are currently looking at ways to defeat these as well. So stay tuned. Most definitely you should have used the SCEC bag. We hope you like this bypass. If you want to learn more ways to bypass temperament seals and other physical controls, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Also give us a thumbs up if you liked it. We would love to hear from you in the comments, so if you have any comments or have any ideas for videos you think we should do, let us know. Until then, we'll be back soon with another Tamper Everyone Bypass.